Hello everyone, hope everyone is doing great. So I have come with a new topic today and that is all about social studies. Are you excited? Want to know why we should learn social studies or is it boring? Let's find out. But before starting the video, I hope everyone who is watching this video is a human being because if we are human beings, we should know about human beings because it help us to know about ourselves. So let's find out. I've heard that social studies is very boring. It's very uninteresting and a dull subject. So let's find out why. Why students feel so that it's boring? Is it because difficult to understand? It's so many things to remember and very lengthy. So mainly social studies comprises three major subjects that is history, geography and civics. So history is all about our past. It's help us to know about our ancestors, the story of our ancestors. Same way geography is all about the earth and its landscape. And the third is civics that is the all about the art of administration. So now do you think is it really boring? Let's see. So human beings, we all are a social creature, right? So what does that mean? It means human beings likes to hang up with other human beings. Mostly they like to depend on each other. We depend on each other. So if we see us in this present situation, the progress, the development, whatever happened, it's only because it's possible because we help each other out. So we live in a society. We cannot live in isolation. We need each other. Unless we move to the moon or to the march, there is no escaping from the society. And the society, it's not only about your city, not only about your country. It's about the whole world, right? So whatever happened on this planet, it's, it's going to affect us in a directly or indirectly manner, whether we realize it or not. So we have to understand that it's not about only ourselves, it's about all of us. So if I say why we should learn social studies, the most important reason in that matter why we should learn anything it's because of the survival the more you know about the world you live the more you know about the others the more you know about yourself the better you can change the survival it's about survival so in recap if I say the basic reason why we should learn social studies are because we human beings we live in a society and we need to survive. So social studies makes us understand about the past, the present and the future. So there is a direct link between the past and the future. So if we study past, it help us to know our present and help us to grow for the future. For example, if I say history, when I say the word history, what comes first in your mind? It comes about the king, right? How they used to fight. They used to conquer lands. They used to fight for the motherland. So it comes how the way war comes. So without wars, there would not know what peace feels like. Without law, the administration, there would be no democracy. The same way, without humanities, we would hardly be human beings. So social studies sounds very complicated. Is it so? Do you also feel that is it really complicated? Let's see. It sounds complicated, but if you follow certain strategies to study this, if you follow some kind of systematic way to study social studies, I'm telling you, it's going to be very easy. I'll just give you two small tricks for that to study sociology. 
first is take your textbook and write down everything whatever you need to learn on a separate notebook and make sure while writing you understand what you are writing after that study that portion writing help us to remember to recollect things so definitely just follow the step and I'll give one more trick that is see social studies it's all about dates facts and content and it's very difficult to remind all these things right so for that choose a time for you just choose a time on which time you are most productive your brain works at your best and revise your thing on that time many students what they do they feels like social studies is very boring so we don't to study so before exam maybe three or four days before exam we'll study and we'll write the exam so never do that just read your portion, revise your portion in a systematic order and a, on a timely duration and it will definitely going to help you. So the most important thing is don't lose motivation, don't give up in the middle as beginning is always the hardest because you are a warrior. Just believe in yourself, you can do it and just go for that. So with that, I hope this video is helpful for everyone and you like my video. Thank you so much.